Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is APM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to show you off on Photoshop how to design a funeral flyer or a funeral uh, poster, and it's just going to be a simple but very catchy one. So let's just go to file, create a new document, and this one we are going to use A4, and I'll just name it funeral. Okay, funeral. Yes, and I'll have it like this. And this one will be a portrait, and I don't want it to be a portrait. I want it to be a landscape. So I'll go to file, come to file, rotation, I'll come and click on 90 clockwise over here, just like this, and I'll have it like this. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is to create a, a group over here, and then that one I'll call it BG means background. Yes, and the next thing I have to do is to create my background. So first of all, I'll just come up. Click on adjustment layer over here, then I'll go to gradient mark over there. Then I'll just choose any gradient this thing over there, just like this. And by this one, this green, I'll change it to red over there. And then this particular is not that red, it's I'll change it to deep red, and I'll have it like that. And I'll have it like this. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is to go over to file and I'll come to place link. Then I'll just search for the, the resources that I'm going to use over there. So first of all, I'll pick up this one over there, and then I'll just transform it. Uh, just transform it, just like this. Okay. Yes. And then over of that one, I'll just make it uh, this color lightning. So let me see. Let me see. Okay. I'll just make it a light color over there. You get that. So the next thing that I have to do again is to go over. And then pick this particular color over there just like this okay and then that one to what i need to do to it is to just change the blinding mode to what to multiply so that it will multiply on this particular one so the next thing i have to do is to create another solid color on it and that color should be white okay and the opacity i'll just reduce it uh, to 75 will be okay for me and then the next thing that i have to Come and pick this particular image to then I'll just rotate it to 90 o'clock white. Then I'll transform that one to just like this, and I'll have it like this. And then what I need to do over that one too is to reduce the opacity again so that it will go in into the, uh, the, the background of all that. Then I'll have it just like this. Over there. I'll just have it like this. And this one, let me reduce it a little bit more. I don't want to do this. Okay, then I'll have it just like this, and this one will be my background for that particular list. I'll just have it like this, and that is how I want it to be. So first of all, let me do what. Let me just uh, let me just save it like this. Okay. So the next thing I have to do again is I'll come up with. And that is just how the composition. Uh, I'm just in the composition section, and I'll have it like this. And the next thing I have to do this one, I'll right click and then I'll duplicate it just like this. And the down one, I'll change the for uh, the, 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 the color. Then I'll just make that one come on top just like this, and I'll add. I'll change the color by going FX, and I'll come to gradient map over there, and then I'll just change. Different region mark over there, and then this one should not be. I'll have it like this, and then uh, this one I'll change the color to, to this some color, color like this. Okay, then I'll have it just like this. Okay, and the next thing that I have to do is to come up with another line over here. That one should be have somewhere like this, and then I'll just copy this particular region uh, mark over there, and then I'll just fix it. And I'll go and customize it by making it like this. Like this. Okay. And then over the angle, I'll just make it zero. And I'll have it like that for now. Okay. Yes. And I'll make it somehow so that everything will appear very well. You get that. Yes. So the next thing I have to do is to come and open up that particular list and then the information are here 
then how have they been since on board and who just replaced it with anything that would be yes so i think this are all the shapes that i'm going to use so i'll just uh, group it in one then i'll call that one shape and when you are working with this kind of thing you just have to make it so that you can understand what you are really doing yes. so the next thing that i have to do is to come up with this picture over there then i'll just import in the picture just like this and that one i'll let that one come down over here then I'll just transform it and I'll have it uh, I'll just transform it down down just like this and I'll have it just like this okay yes. and I'll have it like this for now so the next thing I have to do is that I'll just start up the right now okay so I'll come over and then I'll just pick call to glory and then I'll just copy Call to glory over there, and then I'll just paste it over here, just like that. And then I'll make the distance, and I'll just make it this way. And I'll come and copy the glory over there, and I'll make it, I'll paste that one too, and I'll change the font to one font over all. I'm going to be and I'll have it just like that and I'll have it just like this okay and I'll just select all and then I'll group it and I'll just call it A you get that yes and over there I'll come copy this one too and then I'll just paste that one to over there and I'll change the font to and Latin and then uh, I'll just break the text just like this, okay? And that one should be selected together. And I'll increase the distance to somewhere 60. Uh, let me just increase it to somewhere this, okay? And then uh, for the spacing, I'll make it count somewhere for the distance. Let's just make it 50, okay? Yes, and I'll have it just like that. And I'll make that one good. Should be good, and let me just increase it up so that it just fits up there. Then I'll have it just like that. So that it be good. Yes. So the next thing I have to do is to come pick the name, the reference, the reference, Yao, Yao song, okay? Then I'll have that one too. I'll have it like this and I'll make the distance to be 16 the size to be 16 the information over there is not that much so I just need to fill it up so that I will get more white space on the design or just the flyer or the poster yes so I'll just make it like this and then that one making it 48 so that you go in and yes and then I can save my work and then the next thing I have to do is to come and pick the date over there and I'll just come and paste that one to over here just like this you get that and upon that I'll change the font to copies and I'll make the size font and then the boldness should be red now and the color should be white yes and that one too the paragraph and should be uh, left aligned and then I'll just come and pick Pleno Pleno, I'll copy Pleno then I'll come and paste it just like this over there with the same, uh, same format and then I'll come and pick the number the contact uh, details over there and I'll come and paste it over there too just like this with the same and then we are just getting up a good design at the end of the day. Yes. The next thing I have to do is that I just come, I will just come to over here the rectangular material tool, then I'll pick the ellipse tool.
full over there then I'll just draw a shape just like this over there no I don't want this kind of shape over there so let me just delete it and I'll redo it just like this yes. okay still no good uh, hold shift and then the drop and you can have it circular it's still not circular I don't know why what is happening to my distance yes okay you can have it like this very circular one and then that one I'll change the color to this color over there let me just zoom it out please yes so the next thing I have to do is to write the year the the the, the age 65 years over there then I'll make it 60 and that one should be somewhere here then I'll change the font to what to the same uh, font over here and I'll type in years over there just like this the short form of years and then I'll just make the decrease the size to this and then I'll come up with that particular 1957 uh, to 2022, 20, just like this. And that one, too, I'll make the size so that we can enter in the shape just like this. Okay, so I can have it just like this. And then this one. I will just take it to hold and I'll have something like this. So, the next thing that I have to do over here is that for this one, I'll change the color to green color, and that one I'll just have it just like this. I'll just make some kind of uh, color over there. Let me see if you can get additional beautiful color over there that one will match up that kind of thing I want to get okay so let me see okay I can have some orange color over there so that it will look good in this so we somehow go okay so the next thing I have to do is to duplicate that one over there and then I'll just transform it by holding alternate shift alternate sorry and just transform it just like that and that one down there I'll change the font the, 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 the color to gradient overlay over there just like this and I'll just make it just like that and then I'll have it like this over there and I'll just group all in one so that I can move it without any problem and that one is called H yes. so that anytime I want to move it I can just move it that one just like that okay so right now we have just come to the end of the tutorial but what we really need to do is to add up more things to this so that we can have it so that this thing over there I'll just add color to it and that color should be in this color and then I'll add up the stroke to it again and that stroke should also be like this and I'll drop a shadow to it now that one too and I'll have some kind of shadow over there and let me reduce my distance of my and then the shadow too I'll just make And then this one too, I'll just change the color to the same color to over there. And I'll have it like that. And the picture too. Okay, let me just take that one to the same time. So the next thing I have to do is to make some changes to this one. And that one too, I'll add a gradient distance to it. And I'll just have it like that. And this one too. I'll just add up some written map to it and that one should look uh, 
so cool that they are just are some countless things. That one should come. Then let me just copy it and see how it will apply for this one. Yes, and I can have the color yes. And then over this one, I'll change the same gradient color to this. But that one is too big, I'll just make it somewhat small like this. And uh, I'll have it like that. And this one should go on top so that through printing. Those cutting uh, manual, you know, cut off some of the information. Yes. So I think there is still more space for me to make it go on top. Yes. Those leaves. Okay. Then I'll cut it just like that. Okay. Yes. And over this one too, I'll give it the same form, uh, the same, uh, what the name? Green color over there, and then I'll have it just like this. And after that, I can now see my work, and then the glory to this. Thing. Now I'll just try and transform it, and then I'll just place it in bit to be over here, and then I'll have this one down somewhere down. And just I'll have it like this. So that is just a simple way of. Then a camera fly off in a booster and without any much details. And you are done. Thank you very much for watching. This is Avian Graphics. Have a nice day.